solve problem 4.36 from Microelectronic Circuit's 8th edition by Sedrin Smith. Use the iterative, iterative analysis procedure to determine the diode current and voltage in the circuit here for VDD equals 1.5 volts, R equals 2 kilo ohms, and a diode having a saturation current of 10 to the power of negative 15 amps. So what is the iterative analysis? Well, it mainly uses the following two equations. ID equals VDD minus VD divided by R, right? Using some Kirchhoff's voltage law. And VD equals VT times the natural log of ID divided by IS, saturation current, where VT is equal to 25 millivolts or 0 0.025 volts. And our goal is to basically repeatedly solve for ID and VD over and over and over again, right? Just keep on iterating through it until we get a pretty close number for each of these and we keep getting pretty much the same number every time. Because what's gonna happen is every time we solve, we're gonna get a little more accurate number every time. So we're gonna repeat this as many times as we need to. So let's start for our first calculation of the doubt current, ID is equal to VDD, 1.5 volts, minus our current guess for VD for a diode is gonna be 0 0.7 volts. But that's the whole reason why we're doing the iterative method is we don't actually know if it's 0 0.7 volts. This is just an estimation. So 0 0.7 volts divided by two kilo ohms. So that gets us a current of 0 0.4 milliamps. So now we can calculate our voltage drop across the diode will be equal to 0 0.025 volts times the natural log of diode current, 0 0.4 milliamps divided by 10 to the negative 12 milliamps. I just converted that Right, because 10 to the negative 15 amps is equal to 10 to the negative 12 milliamps. Okay, so for this, I get a diode voltage of 0 0.668 volts. So what this is telling me is my estimation of 0 0.7 volts is actually greater than the true diode voltage. So let's repeat this procedure again with our new value of VD. So we're gonna recalculate ID, we're gonna say it's 1.5 volts minus 0 0.668 volts divided by 2 kilo ohms. Turn my math, I get 0 0.416 milliamps. So my current is also greater than our first calculation. So VD is equal to 0 0.025 times the natural log of 0 0.416 divided by 10 to the negative 12. That is equal to 0 0.669 volts. So you can see this is already much closer to the second round. We only differed by a thousand, thousandth of a volt. But let's do it one more time just to be safe. So now we're going to recalculate ID with our new voltage calculation. So we get 1.5 volts minus 0 0.669 volts divided by two kilo ohms. That is equal to 0 0.41155 milliamps. So now we're like just a little bit off, but we have that extra decimal point of accuracy, right? So then VD is equal to 0 0.025 volts times the natural log of 0 0.4155 milliamps divided by 10 to the negative 12 milliamps. And that gets us 0 0.6688 volts. So I think this is a good point to stop because as you can see, uh, our calculations for VD for one, two, and three were all really close. So that means we iterated enough that we're 
pretty accurate with our answer. We can comfortably stop here. So we would determine the Dowd current to be 0 0.4155 milliamps and the Dowd voltage to be 0 0.6688 volts. And that's the question.